All right. Today what we're going to do is work on factoring a trinomial that does not have a 1 as the coefficient of the x squared. So sometimes when there is a number in front of x squared that's not a 1, it might be a common factor that you can take out. But when it's not, then we have a problem with trying to factor the trinomial. So there's a guess and check method where you can just keep trying different things in the parentheses to see if you can get the um, trinomial that is given. But that can be frustrating. There's also a math process that we can do to find that answer. So here's my example. 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. I want to factor that. Well, normally I might ask, what multiplies to give me 2 and adds up to give me 7? But I can't do that because there's a 3 there. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply the 3 and the 2. I'm going to say, what multiplies to give me 6 and adds up to 7? So what multiplies to 6 but adds up to 7? That's my next step. Well, let's see, what is the answer? What multiplies to give me 6 but adds up to 7? Well, let's see. I'm going to use the space here for my work. 6 is 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. And these two add up to 7. So instead of putting that in parentheses, I'm going to break the 7x into a 6x and a 1x. So that's what I did right here. I um, Actually, I think I'm going to show you with a different color if I can. I'm going to break the 7x into a 6x and a 1x. Okay. Now, I need to figure out the signs, just like before when we would do this. It is a positive 7. So how do I get a positive 7 out of this? Um, that would be a positive 6 and a positive 1. Step four was decide which signs will give you a positive 7. Now, step five, factor the four terms by grouping into pairs. Remember when we factor four terms, we break it into two and two. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to break this into two terms and two terms. So the first two terms are 3x squared plus 6x. What can I divide both of those by? Well, I can divide them both by a 3 and an x. So I put the 3x out to the front. I open up my parentheses. And then I figure out what is left when I divide each term by 3x. So 3x squared divided by 3x is 1x. I got 1x. 6x divided by 3x is 2. Then I bring down the plus sign. We always bring this sign straight down. Now I look at the next two, x plus 2. What can I divide them both by? Most of you would probably say nothing. Nothing really means 1. The only thing I can divide them both by is 1. So I'm going to put that 1 on the outside, open up a parenthesis, and what's left when I divide by 1? x plus 2. So I have now turned four terms into two terms. One term, two terms. And what do they have in common? They both have an x plus 2. So I'm going to take out my common factor of x plus 2 and bring it to the front. And then ask myself, same as I did before, what is left when I divide by x plus 2? Here I have a 3x, and here I have a plus 1. So this is my final answer. Let's try it again. All right. Second example, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. So be careful. We're going to kind of follow those same rules that we learned with factoring any trinomial. The only difference really here is I have to let the 2 play a part. So 
2 times 3 is 6. What two numbers multiply to give me 6? Those are my two choices, but be careful. They multiply to give me 6 and subtract to give me 5. Well, the pair that subtracts to give me a 5 is a 1 and a 6. I have a 1 and a 6 again. So what I'm going to do is, next step, break it into a 6x and a 1x. 5x can be a 6x and a 1x, but it's a positive 5. So that would have to be a positive 6 minus 1. That's how these two have to equal what you have right here. But now I have four terms, and I can factor it as four terms. You'll notice I put some questions off to the side here. Ask yourself, what multiplies to 6, but subtracts to 5? And that's where I got 6 and 1. Then ask yourself, how do I combine 6 and 1 to get a positive 5? That would be a positive 6 and a negative 1, which is where I'm at there. So all I have to do now is factor it by grouping, make it uh, group them into 2 and 2. So the first two, what could I divide both of those terms by? Well, 2 and 6 can be divided by 2, so I'll write a 2 out here x squared and x can both be divided by x. So a 2x is my common factor. Open up my parentheses. When I divide 2x squared by 2x, what is left? Just an x. And I have a plus sign. 6x divided by 2x is 3. So I'm going to put a 3 here. Now remember the rule. The middle sign has to come straight down. So I'm going to put that minus sign there. What can you divide an x and a 3 by? Nothing. What do we call that? 1. So I can divide by a 1, but really I'm dividing by negative 1. So negative x divided by negative 1 is a positive x. Negative 3 divide by a negative 1 is a positive 3. And I always check it with the first parenthesis, and when I see that they're the same, I go, yay, I'm on the right track. So, I have two terms with a common factor, let's get that pink one out again, of an x plus 3. So I'm going to take the x plus 3 out to the front, and ask myself, when I divide both terms by x plus 3, what's left? Over here I have a 2x and a minus 1. And I'm done. It's factored. Okay, so the first one I had all the steps for you. And the second one I kind of got it started for you. But this would be a good time for you to hit pause and try to do this one yourself. So if you do that, you hit pause and you try 15x squared minus 11x plus 2. See if you can get this. And, uh, but right now, if you stop hitting pause or you hit start all over again, let's go ahead and finish this one together. So I'm going to ask myself, what multiplies to give me 30? Well, let's see. 1 times 30, 2 times 15. 3 times 10, whoops, 4 doesn't go into 30, 5 times 6. Which pair of numbers adds to give me an 11? Right there. I'll get to the signs later, but as long as I get the right numbers, I'm okay. So, remember, we're going to rewrite that term, and we're going to rewrite that term. And we're going to split the 11 into a 5x and a 6x. Now, the question is, how do I get a negative 11 out of a 5 and a 6? Well, that would be a negative 5 and a negative 6. Okay, so I have now turned my trinomial into a 4-termer, and I can break it into 2 and 2. So. Here's the first two. What goes into 5 and 15? 5. 
What goes into x squared and x? And x. What's left when I divide them each by 5x? That gives me a 3x and negative 5x divided by 5x is a negative 1. Okay, bring down that middle sign. What do I get when I divide 6x, or what goes into 6x and 2? 2. I have a common factor of 2. So I'm going to pull the 2 out to the front, and what's left? Divide by 2, and you're really dividing by a negative 2, so be careful. Negative 2. Negative 6x divided by negative 2 is 3. x, sorry, 3x. Positive 2, careful. Divide by negative 2 is a negative 1. I have matching parentheses, yay. Two terms. I'm going to take out the common factor, which is right there. They both have a 3x minus 1. So I have common factor of 3x minus 1. What's left when I divide them both by 3x minus 1? 5x minus 2. And I have factored it. Okay, good luck to you.